Here are the top 10 interviews with the most famous soccer players in history. Cristiano Ronaldo is undoubtedly one of the greatest players in the history of soccer, and his list of achievements is adorned with records and achievements all more fabulous than the others. However, it was not really one for the young boy freshly arrived from his native island that he was at the beginning. And if today the legend CR7 is printed in the footballing pantheon in platinum letters, the Portuguese superstar had to struggle like a true slave to succeed in life. Cristiano Ronaldo was born in Madeira in a totally idle family that struggled to make ends meet. The economic condition of the Ronaldo family was so precarious that Cristiano's mother, after learning that she was pregnant, tried to have an abortion with homemade techniques. In this anthology sequence, you can see a rather modest and serene teenager who tries to explain his daily life as a promising young footballer with Sporting Lisbon. This report made in 2001 shows us Cristiano Ronaldo then, 16 years old, who expresses himself rather shyly in front of the camera. In the video, we can also discover the hotel room in which he was staying and which frankly didn't look like much. It could be better, but it is good enough until we can move to the academy. And I don't spend too much time in here. I only come to sleep and then go out. Take a trip. Where to? Nothing to do with the presidential suites in which he resides today and which compete with luxury and pomp. Cristiano Ronaldo juggles as well with the ball as with the millions today. But at the time, nobody could have suspected the incredible destiny that awaited him, and especially not the cameraman. We will now go back in our little time capsule in order to go back a few decades and discover one of the very first interviews of a living legend of soccer. It's January 21st, 1996. During a report on Zidadine Zidana, then 23 years old and still playing for the Girardines de Bordeaux, you may not have recognized him with this pretty little hair, but yes, it is indeed the great Zizou that you see on your screens. Of course, you are quite used to his characteristic baldness with which you can so easily recognize him even from far away when you are sitting, for example, in the last row of the stands at the very back of the stadium. In this video, the footballer from Marseille has not lost his hair yet, but his incredible talent is still growing and has not even revealed all its potential yet. On n'a pas parlé de ça, on va attendre tranquillement la saison, on va essayer de, de faire des trucs euh, dans le monde de la Panda et Bordeaux et c'est ce qui nous intéresse. The film crew that followed the young player did not know that they were interviewing a footballer who would go down in the history of the sport. Two years later, he would indeed massacre the Brazilian team and obtain the first World Cup in the history for France. We are going to continue our little temporal excursion in the meanders of the past by discovering this time one of the very first interviews of Karim Benzema, the French international who is now at the top of his game with the Meringues. Began his young career at the Olympique Lyonnais, where he shone and demonstrated skills worthy of the greatest footballers. And in parallel to his professional career at the club, Karim Benzema was called to the French national team in 2006 by the coach Raymond Domenech, who was literally overwhelmed by the prowess of the young man. Karim Benzema was then 19 years old and this interview was filmed only a few moments after the end of his first official match with Les Bleus. It was Wednesday, March 28, 2007 and the French team had just beaten their Austrian counterpart by one goal to zero. The goal of the victory was scored by this young and sparkling player from Lyon, who came out of nowhere and literally stunned the public as well as the sports journalists by his extraordinary soccer skills. Et personnellement, je me suis bien senti, donc marquer et faire gagner l'équipe, ça m'a fait extrêmement plaisir. Donc très content pour ce soir. Voilà. These historic images allow us to relive this magical moment in world soccer, which saw the emergence of a true living legend of the game. And here we are again for our exciting little time cruise, which will take us this time to more than distant shores. We are in 2003 at the mythical Parc des Princesses Stadium for an interview with the imitable Ronaldinho. At this time, the legend of the mischievous Brazilian was already born and his numerous tricks caused a real hysteria in the stands, but also on the pitch, in front of opponents subjugated by his speed and his dribbles. It is indeed in Paris that the young Brazilian, then 21 years old, was really known in the whole world. PSG had brought him from Brazil in 2001, almost snatching him away from his club, Grêmio, who did not hesitate to take legal action against the Parisians, but without much success. The PSG scouts had indeed detected the rare Brazilian pearl and did not want it in the least to see him escape from their hands. They were right, 
because in the space of two years, the young Brazilian was going to cause sparks within League One and take his club to the world soccer consecration. <laughs> The video sequence shows us this young and fiery footballer who loves to play the clown on the field and who always has a big smile on his face, always bringing laughter and joy wherever he goes. It is now time to buckle up and hang on to your seats. We are now going to experience some jolts due to space-time turbulences. Because in this sequence, we are going to go back further in the course of time until we land on a beautiful Sunday summer afternoon 38 years ago. We are indeed on Thursday, July 5th, 1984, and we are going to attend immediately a soccer event for the least historical. The young Argentine football prodigy Diego Armando Maradona is being presented to the Neapolitan public after signing the SSC Napoli. El Pibe de Oro is acclaimed that day by more than 70,000 Neapolitan fans who have given him a historic welcome at the San Paolo Stadium. During this famous presentation, a big press conference will be organized and an army of journalists will rush to get to the first words of Maradona as well as his first impressions about his transfer to Napoli. But on this sequence, one of the reporters present went a little too far, asking a rather daring question to the young footballer. The journalist wanted to know indeed if Diego Maradona was aware of the existence of the Neapolitan Mafia, the Camorra, and its involvement in local soccer. Of course, this journalist implied that Napoli was in the hands of the Mafia and that therefore de facto Maradona also now that he had signed with the Neapolitan club. The incident will be closed soon enough by the president of the club at the time, Corrado Ferleno, who will answer curtly to the journalist and will have him expelled from the press conference. But as you can see, Maradona, who doesn't speak a word of Italian, doesn't understand anything about this scene that is happening in front of his eyes, on which you can read a non-simulated amazement. But one thing that Maradona understood that day is that he will be forever the darling of the Neapolitans, because when he entered the San Paolo Stadium and saw the tens of thousands of Neapolitans who had come to welcome him, he certainly could not fail to understand. And even if at the time the legend of Diego Maradona was still in its infancy, the whole world knew that this player had undoubtedly landed on another planet. The continuation of this exciting video takes us this time in England, on Tuesday, August 3rd, 1999 more precisely. The French international Thierry Henry has just signed with the Arsenal FC after having suffered some disappointments with Juventus, whose shirt he will have worn for seven months. By signing for the Gunners, the then 20-year-old striker revealed to the world his amazing abilities and his footballing exploits would literally go down in history. But at the time of the presentation, you see in this clip, no one could suspect the incredible path that this ambitious and modest young sportsman would follow. And even the greatest prognosticators could not have guessed that this young recruit would turn out to be the future top scorer in the history of Arsenal with 228 goals scored. Ah, Zlatan. Good old Ibramovich. Here is a character who has marked the history of soccer not only by his excellent touch of ball, but also by his totally exuberant character. Zlatan Ibramovic may be a true prodigy of the game, but his personality and his antics have made him the ugly duckling of world soccer. However, as you know as well as I do, our dear Swedish friend doesn't care about all the criticism that can fall on his head because the man is armored and his mental strength is matched only by his robustness and physical power. And if you thought that Zlatan's legendary boasts and rodomontades came with age, a bit like midlife crisis, well, think again. Because the Nordic giant has always been a great boaster who loves to strut in front of the press and shout from the rooftops all the exploits he has accomplished. On this sequence, which dates from 2002, you can see a young Zlatan still beardless who talks about his double career in the national team and the club Ajax Amsterdam, which were admittedly crowned with success. Fick spela rätt så snabbt i första uppställningen. Spela för Superet, han kom upp i Allsvenskan. Blev såld till Ajax för 83 miljoner. Sen vann ligan, vann kuppen, kom med VM-truppen. 
Because if our dear Ibrahimovic can be considered as a big mouth by some people, excuse the expression by the way, we must admit that he is among the best soccer players in the history of this sport. Everyone knows Neymar, this young 30-year-old player who gave back to Brazilian soccer its letters of nobility and who is behind the records and the most remarkable exploits. After a great career which took him from the mythical Brazilian club Santos to Paris Saint-Germain with a stopover at Barca that lasted four years, Neymar Jr. is considered one of the best strikers on the planet. On this surprising sequence, which takes us to 2005 when the young Brazilian is 13 years old and he gravitates among the young recruits of Santos FC. At that time, Neymar Jr. did not yet have the ambition to become the footballer he is today, but already his skills and his art of the round ball were undeniable. However, the young football prodigy had to wait until 2009 when he turned pro with Santos to be able to reach fame and glory. Indeed, the young footballer will literally let his talent explode with the Brazilian club, leading him to the consecration by his prowess and his achievements like no other. For this sequence, we will go back a few years, in 2010 to be exact, to the discovery of a young genius of French soccer when he was no taller than three apples. And without suspense, it is our national Kylian Mbappe, who at 23 years is one of the most promising strikers of his generation. On regarde dans l'histoire les meilleurs c'était des noirs et des arabes à part Platini uh, Cantona et tout ça. The PSG star was only 12 years old when he was interviewed by a sports journalist on the very thorny issue of quotas in soccer and which had not failed to raise a furious debate at the time. This sequence which dates from 2010 shows us the young footballer rather modest and knowing well to express himself in front of a television camera with a disconcerting calm and austerity. And as always on your beloved YouTube channel, we have saved the best for last, with this sequence that deserves to be in a special edition anthology. Look at this shy young boy who expresses himself with a certain embarrassment in front of the camera while the journalist asks him questions. Yes, you have recognized him well. It is Lionel Messi, the worthy successor of Maradona, the chip, the player with a golden foot, and without forgetting, among so many other qualifications that we could find him, the only footballer of the history to have won seven golden balls. But in this video, which takes us back to the year 2000, the Argentine genius is only 13 years old, and he is taking his first steps in the FC Barcelona soccer school. Of course, no one could have known at the time that Messi would become the all-powerful ruler of the Catalan club over which he would reign for a whole decade of victories and the craziest records. Now, tell us in the comments what you think of these amazing anthological interview sequences and which of them impressed you the most. Don't forget to subscribe and click here to watch another of our videos.